Hello guys, welcome back to our channel, My Project Ideas. In this video, we will learn how to use xlsx.js API, which is a third party API in our SAP UFF project to download data from a template in an xlsx format. So let's start by creating a project from template. We'll select SAP Fury application. And then we'll select basic because you want a freestyle application. Like connect to a system. Not in service. Let's copy the path. So our project is created. Let's run this project. I will use the terminal command to run my project. Okay, so my app is running. Let's create a table in our view. Okay, I created one column. Let's replicate this column three times. I will have name, description. Okay, let's create the rows. Let's copy and paste in the same thing twice. Okay, let's bind data to our table.
I will bind product entity set, which is from the north wind. Let's check out our table. See, see, my table is successfully loaded in my application. The second step would be to create a button in the header using which we will download the data from this table into an XLSX format. Okay, so to create a button in the header, let's create a header toolbar. Inside this header toolbar, we will create overflow toolbar. And inside this overflow toolbar, we will create content let me give a title if as we are creating a header toolbar let's create a give it a title for the table let's give it as products After our toolbar special, we will create our button. We'll give the text as download Excel. Let's give it a function as well. Okay. Also, let's give our table an ID. Okay. Let's check out. A table and a button. Okay. So here we have a table, we have a title for the table products, and we have a button download Excel. Okay, so let's write the code. Before writing the code for the download Excel, we need to integrate or link the XLSX library. XLSX library can be linked in two ways. One, either you can link it using a CDN, or second, you can link it using a physical file that you can download from the web and link it to your UFI project. In this session, we will use a CDN. So let's copy the CDN, which I've taken from cdnjs.com. This is the library. We can uh, choose any of the library. For now, we will use xlsx full.min.js. Let's copy this. This should be linked in your index.html file. Just paste it as it is, and you are done. So the xlsx library is now linked to our project. Now we can use all the xlsx functions from this library. So let's start by writing our code. We don't need on in it. Let's change this to on download. Okay. And to download the data from this table, either we can always download the whole data from the table or a better implementation would be to make this table multi-select so that we can use the checkboxes or the selections of the table to get it downloaded in the Excel format. So let's write that. So we we'll use the property mode in that the value as multi select. Let's see what is the output we get after we implement the property mode multi select. You see, all our rows are now selectable with a checkbox. Either I can get all the rows. Or if I need, I can just download these three rows in an Excel format. So I can have both options. Now let's go on with the code in the controller. First thing should be, let's create a rows array, empty array. And now we will check all the selected rows from the table and put it into this array. To do that, 
let's take the selection first of all i will get the table this is the table id now we have the table and from the table what we do is we get selected items what it would do is this will give me all the selected items in a row in an array format in this particular variable selection let's loop on this selection variable i will use for each you can use any loop you can use for loop you can use for in loop here i'm using for each okay let's save each data into this data variable so this is one row each row will have their own winding context dot get object would give me the data now i will just push it through the rows array now that we have the data in rows okay what we need to do is we need to create a worksheet so to use xlsx the step to create a, a sheet variable or an xlsx worksheet the first step is to create single sheets then add that single worksheet into a workbook and then make that workbook downloadable fine so let's create a worksheet worksheet we use xlsx dot utils dot json to sheet this is a function that we use to convert this json object that is an array into a worksheet variable okay now that we have a worksheet we need a workbook to be created to create a workbook i will use xlsx.utils dot book underscore new this will create a new workbook and now we'll need to add this worksheet into this workbook let's do that we will use xlsx dot utils dot book underscore append sheet inside this we will give the workbook to which we want to append we will give the worksheet the sheet that we want to append as well as the name of this worksheet so let's give this name as product sheet okay now that we have added our worksheet into our workbook with the name product sheet we need to make this downloadable so we need to write xlsx dot write file we need to give the workbook that we need to download that we have created and then we need to give the file name the file name i can give it as product data there's an extra parameter that you can use it's always good to use this that is compression true okay this will make our xlsx file smaller okay let's save this so let's select some of the rows i will select five rows random five rows let's click on download excel it is asking me for download save this let's open you see we are getting a warning or an alert that says the file format and extension of this product data does not match okay that means there is an error and the error is that whenever you write a or provide a excel file name you need to provide it with an extension which is dot xlsx 
let's try it out again and data has loaded again i will select some random five rows click on download excel let's save this file let's try to open it my excel file has loaded without a warning let's zoom it a bit you see we have all the columns here with all the data if you notice we have an extra column called underscore metadata and i don't think we require this so let's see how to get rid of a particular column in the code before download to do that you can do it simply in the selection loop itself where we are getting the data and before pushing it to the array we can delete that data so let's delete let's copy the column name okay so i want to delete this particular column before i add it to the row so let's try it out again okay this time let's download all the data click on download excel save it open the excel file yeah we'll zoom it out for you to have a better vision you see we have all the rows with all the columns i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching see you next time